Hello everyone, my name is Prodesilaus, also known as Prod. In this video I want to talk to you about the functions that Emacs provides for commenting on code. And to do this I first want to load an Emacs frame without any of my customizations. So you do that by running the command Emacs-Q in a shell prompt. And so this one is the default, the vanilla Emacs experience without any customizations whatsoever. So I want to show you how the default uh, functions, the default key bindings behave and then I will switch to my customizations and talk a bit about their underlying rationale and uh, the outlook I have going forward. So let's start with our demo and see how it goes. So the first command you need to know about is control x control semicolon. This will uh, toggle the comment status of the current line. So if the current line is uh, ordinary text or code, it will convert it into a comment. Whereas if it is a comment, it will uh, turn it into ordinary text or a code, like this. So it toggles the comment status. You can run the same command by passing an argument to it using the universal argument. For example, the number three will operate on all the lines covered by the argument. And if, of course, you have three lines like this and you do it again, it will uncomment these three lines. When your argument is just a single digit, you don't have to press control U and the number three. You can just press control and the number directly. So, for example, control three and then uh, the command will do the exact same thing. Let's do this again. It is the exact same thing. Uh, so this is the one command. Let's uh, have it also work on regions to see how it works. So this region is, uh, uh, as you see here, it is three lines long. However, its boundaries do not coincide with the boundaries of the three lines that are implied herein. Uh, but let's see how it works. It will comment out the three lines, so not just the region. And this is something you need to know. We will check it right away. Control H K is the help command for key bindings. And by the way, parenthesis, uh, please make sure to check my backlog. I have a video on how you can find help on Emacs, how to discover features. This is, in my experience thus far, the most valuable skill you can develop as an Emacs user because it allows you to discover uh, features and uh, uh, pieces of functionality that are not readily available online that other people may have missed and not included in their uh, configurations, etc. So please make sure to check that video. Back to our point, control HK is the help command for key bindings. And then you run the key binding you are interested in. This is produces a documentation page and it is informing us that the function, can I increase the font size here? So the function is called comment line and it is informing you if you check this and if you check the source code as well. So it says here, if region is active, comment lines in active region instead. And it is telling you the difference with the other command that I will demo right away. So this is something you need to know that control X, control semicolon always operates on lines. So this means that it does not account for the position of the cursor. It doesn't matter if your point is at the beginning, at the end of the line, somewhere in between. It's always operating on the, uh, sorry, on the entirety of the line like this. So that's the one command. The other command is called comment DWIM. DWIM is of course something you will come across uh, quite regularly in your Emacs journey. It means do what I mean and let's see it in practice. It's basically a, a smart context aware uh, function that will uh, uh, change its uh, behavior depending on the situation. Let's see it in practice. It is bound to meta and semicolon. If you run it uh, as it is, uh, somewhere in your code, it will append a comment uh, to uh, the line you are on, like this. If you have a comment, an existing comment, a manually inserted comment, um, a manual comment, a manual comment. If you have it like this and you run meta semicolon, it will align it to where it think it should be. 
the alignment is, is uh, something that you need to experiment a bit with uh, because it uses a couple of uh, heuristics. One is to um, um, align them to a certain uh, column number, which I think is dependent on the major mode you are in. And the other one is to align it to the context. So if you have other comments that are already in a certain uh, column, it will try to put them in the same column so that the, your code and your comments uh, look uh, neat and uh, tidy. So this is something you have to experiment with uh, concerning alignment. So that's it with regards to appending and aligning comments. These are two of the functions of comment DWIM. If you run this command with a prefix, so control U and then meta semicolon, it will delete the line on the current line, sorry, the comment on the current line. Let's see it again. Let's say my point is at the beginning of the line. Control U meta semicolon deletes the comment on the current line without interfering with your code. So your code will always remain intact and only the comment will be removed. Let's see it here at the beginning where we have a comment that spans the entirety of the line. Control U meta semicolon deletes the entire line because it is uh, the same as the column as the comment line. Of course, for such a case, you can just uh, do uh, control and K, for example, or uh, control shift the backspace, depending on the situation. The point is that uh, this is um, this specific one over here with the prefix is a smart way of uh, removing uh, comments, and this particularly helpful for the kind of comments that meta semicolon introduces, uh, like this one, which are appended to some uh, code that you need to keep in place. So that's it. The other thing that you need to bear in mind concerning this one, let's have a region. So this is a region. You can see that the boundaries of the region over here, uh, of course, span two lines but they do not coincide with the boundaries of those two lines. It's not the beginning of the first line until the end of the second line. It's uh, in between uh, those two lines. If you run meta semicolon, it will just comment out the boundaries of the region. What is encompassed by the region? What is within the region? Let's see it in a smaller region. Let's say, for example, I have uh, this thing over here. If I do meta semicolon, it just comments out this little thing. And this, of course, is dependent on the mode as well. For example, in uh, Lisp, uh, this is important because uh, you can just comment out a specific uh, portion of the code without uh, affecting the parentheses that you have in place so that you don't create an imbalance that would uh, throw out uh, lots of errors. Uh, but there are other modes where I think this wouldn't make sense. For example, if you are, let's say, in org mode and you highlight part of the sentence and you run meta semicolon, it will uh, just comment out the entire sentence because uh, org doesn't have a concept of um, inline uh, comments in between ordinary text. Uh, so that's it. Um, I believe that's all. No, there is uh, one more. If you are uh, in a line that already has a comment and this comment is already aligned to where it should be, if you run meta semicolon, you will just go to where the comment, uh, the, the text of the comment starts. And let's do this uh, last thing as well. If you are on a comment and you want to uh, move to a new line but continue commenting, you don't want to do to hit the return key and then try uh, to align your cursor with the comment. Rather, you would want to stay where you are and press meta and J, and this will produce a comment, uh, but I don't know why it didn't align it properly. This should have aligned the comment. Let's see it again. Maybe meta, oh, okay, that's interesting. That's interesting to see indeed. Let me check one second the documentation because the expectation I had with this is that it would always align uh, to the column because if you check the command here, indent new comment line, and if you read through it, it is informing you that it is always trying to indent. Maybe because this is not a valid e-lisp, I just copied it. I just copied the part of it. I'm not sure. Let's try it again some comment and 
Okay, that's weird. It should have uh, brought it right below. Anyhow, this is the kind of functionality that I don't really see its value. But anyway, I wanted to inform you about it. Alas, uh, <laughs> it uh, uh, broke my demo. Anyhow, I don't script these videos, so I apologize for that. I had the impression that it would just um, create a new line and indent it accordingly, as is the documentation over here. But anyhow, this is something that maybe it's because my demo is not uh, good enough, it's not valid code. Anyhow, these are uh, the things you need to know about. Let's switch to my um, own customizations. Uh, let's close this. Um, so what I did, I have some customizations here. Le this is my init file written in org. Let's um, focus on the code block for a second here. I like the idea of a do what I mean command, but I don't like the exact behavior of uh, the command I just uh, showcased because in my uh, workflow, it is better to just comment out the line unless you are at a specific point in the line where it would indeed make more sense to just append a comment to the line. So, so I wrote uh, a small um, elisp function. I am not an elisp uh, programmer, of course. I'm just a beginner and I am learning. But this basically is a wrapper around the functions that are already provided by Emacs. The um, library that provides these functions, by the way, is called new comment. So if you do mx find library and then new comment, you will find it over there. You hit the return key and you can check the source code right away. Uh, no need to do that right now. Let's come back here. Uh, so basically, I want to uh, show you what uh, this uh, function does. But first, let's talk about the key bindings for a second. I have remapped the default uh, commenting function to uh, control and semicolon because this is something that is extremely useful and for all um, commands that I use regularly, I want them to be easily accessible, to be ergonomic enough so as uh, to uh, help me uh, type things out. So uh, control X, control semicolon is a very awkward key binding for such uh, useful uh, task. Uh, so I have it control semicolon easier uh, to use. Uh, then I have uh, some other mappings over here, which we'll get to in a minute. But let's let's demo real quick the function I have. So my uh, do what I mean uh, commenting uh, style. So if you are at either the very end or the very beginning of the line, what will happen when you invoke a control semicolon is to append a comment. Append. If you are somewhere else in the line and you run this command again, it will comment out the line. So that's the very basic idea. And the rationale here is that as I am uh, browsing through the code, I'm usually somewhere uh, in between the lines. I, I'm not really at the end. And what I want to do is I want to comment it out. So it's very easy to do that way. Uh, furthermore, if you are in a region, I have it uh, to work exactly like uh, the comment do what I mean the default. So to just comment out the region. But let's uh, let me show you this in um, some org text. For example, let's say we have here. If you have it like this and you run the command uh, the, that I have, it will comment out the entire line because, as I said, this is contingent on the major mode you are in. And uh, for uh, the org major mode, it doesn't make sense to comment out uh, just a portion of a sentence. Let's focus back on this. So this is the basic idea that I have with this um, short uh, elisp function over here. If I want to delete a comment on the current line, and this usually concerns comments that are appended to a piece of code, I have it to meta semicolon again, easily accessible and does just one thing. I don't need to have another do what I mean uh, command for that thing over there. And the last uh, one that I have, control X, control semicolon will do this thing over here. It will create a comment box. And this is something I rarely use. Actually, I have never used, but it's something that I might use. And this is why I have uh, remapped it uh, to this rather uh, awkward key binding. 
exactly because I have no intention of relying on it for my day-to-day -day work. And this is uh, basically it. There are a few variables that are exposed by this library that you could uh, check. Uh, you can always check variables uh, by doing control H V and then you can search for something. If you are using IDO mode, you can, uh, the, f the thing that you have typed in, you can use it as a filter predicate with control and space. So now you can continue searching. So the first thing you typed uh, will only, will work as a filter. So anything uh, you type now will be within the filter. So you can see the, the variables, for example, uh, comment multi-line and it is telling you what this does and how you can customize it, etc., etc. You can always check the source code. You can proceed to this um, uh, easy customization page and from there you can uh, check the group so you can find all the variables in one place. And this is kind of uh, neat because, for example, you can toggle the state here and see how the Lisp code is written. This is not valid as it is. You cannot just copy it as it is. You have to remove the column and uh, uh, style it a bit. So set Q and things like that. But this is a good way to get an overview of the functions that are provided by uh, this uh, library and of course all the others. Sorry, not the functions, the um, variables. Let's close this page. And uh, that's it. Um, the last thing you need to bear in mind is that if you are uh, about to use uh, this uh, utility, you will need to check, depending on the programming languages that you are using, you will need to check comment style. This is very important. Whether you want it to be multi-line or uh, some other things, you have to check uh, control HV. If you run control HV over a variable, it will already populate uh, the search over there, so you can just hit the return key and get some uh, documentation about it. Control H F would do the same for functions, by the way. And uh, this is something you need to bear in mind, the comment style, it's very important. And the other one would also be, very, which is very important, uh, comment multi-line, whether you want, when you are commenting on a region, to style the comment as if it were a single comment rather than uh, multiple uh, single line comments. So you have to uh, adjust that depending on the languages you are, you are using. For example, if you are using uh, C, the C programming language, uh, you have like the two forward slashes when it's uh, an inline comment or a small uh, comment, but you have the other which is one forward slash and an asterisk for the block comments. So this is something you have to experiment with and then you can also add uh, hooks and things of that nature. Uh, but this, I believe, uh, covers it. Um, if you have some uh, recommendations on how we could improve upon this uh, state of affairs, how we can expand this functionality, I would be interested uh, to hear from you. Uh, so I guess that covers it. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye, folks.